Hello, welcome to the Dead Air Dudes. I'm Izzy. I'm Raka, and you guys out there are Dead Air Dudes Nation. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back once again. Here we have our season or series finale of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So we're going to give you guys a quickie review or thoughts and... Spoilers abound. Spoilers abound and see what is next for Sam and Bucky. First, I must say, as a whole, I enjoyed it a tad better than WandaVision. And I know that may not be the popular viewpoint, but WandaVision still threw me for a loop the first two or three episodes. And then it kind of uh, got quasi predictable. I think you can't compare the two. I think the two different uh, narratives, the two different stories, they, they also were shown in different ways. The Winter Soldier and the Falcon, well, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was more of an action based, much more compacted story. More very, very linear, while you have WandaVision, which was outside the box purposely in eight episodes, with it eight or nine? I well, think it was eight. In eight episodes, so it was in eight hours, give or take, while, while the Falcon was in six hours. That being said, both shows were very good. I mean, do you say tomato? I say tomato. I mean, some parts were better in WandaVision. And of course, you know the action and everything else was, was you know was great in this in this uh in this you know obviously starring Anthony Mackie, and uh, Sebastian Stan. I mean, so we leave you hundreds. We're left in episode five with um, Sam's family trying to get back on track with his own personal dealings and uh, the the business with the boat. Um, Winter Soldier helps out. It's kind of like, I wouldn't say one to grow on, but it's more of a, a, a reflection moment of where did we go from here? You know, Sam just had that confrontation, if you call it that, or, or uh, opening up of, of Isaiah Bradley's character of what happened to him and his point of view that he can't wear that Captain America outfit. It's just not acceptable. It's beyond the times, things that he went through. It's just not going to, it's not going to happen. No self-respecting, you know, we would carry the mantle. So I would say that this episode, and I do give kudos to Marvel in this sense, is that they, they met present day social issues head on. Yes. They had, you know, they had, they had a... They addressed it very well, I must say. They, they had the balls, or the writers had the balls to uh, hit it head on, and especially in the very eloquent climate, ending. and they really did a good job. He, he was given a very good eloquent ending with that line when the TV cameras are on him, and they just wrapped up, um, uh, um, what do you call it, um, Carly's character was killed off and he's he's confronting and this is a confrontation and challenging the powers that be to hear the voices understandably people are beyond the law they're taking extreme issues too far but why and he just wants everyone to have a conversation and to understand where everybody else is coming from and that's where we're going to lead into the future so because of that one scene, and he's wearing the, the, the new Captain America, he has the new Captain America. Thank you, quick, on, 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 the, on the costume. Yeah, on the costume and the costume given to him by a What did you think of the costume? I thought the costume was a little loud, but. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? As a comic fan, it actually was one of the few costumes I've seen that is just about spot on. And that ladies and gentlemen, is why as much as we may want to, we cannot have the exact costume from the comics into live action because sometimes it does not work. 
seems a bit busy, seemed a bit uncomfortable, it seemed also, and kind of chafing as well. He looks, he looks stiff. Yeah. I mean, you know. I don't know how you fight all these soldiers and as agile as he needs to be with the wings and be that stiff. Oh, that's a good thing. Now, one of the the, – and and the bad thing is, as much as I love Sam and I love Falcon or whatever, he does kind of get his ass kicked a lot. Well, bear in mind – He's not the best fighter, let's be honest. And I'm going to take a lot of shit for this, but he's not the best fighter. Bear in mind, he's not Tony Stark who has no superpowers, but he has awesome tech. He's got the one tech. You know, the wings and the the bird, but that's it. So, but granted, with those things, he still manages to kick ass. Batrock was Batrock got up in his ass, and he was gonna he was gonna take him out. All right, let's not forget that. No, true indeed, true indeed. Um, I think it's more symbolic than anything else. No, but you also you know, you know, and also I mean, I'm I'm kind of poking fun at the same time. You know that he's going to get better. He's going to improve his uh his you know and. But maybe image is maybe, everything. Maybe right? take some MMA classes or something, you know. You know. Image is everything. And what I think Marvel also wants to portray is that as the new Captain America, he's got a moral standard to stand with. And he's been the most integral guy in the whole show. He's been the most grounded with the moral compass. Well, he's been, since he's been introduced, he's been, you know, he's been a, a, a very, a very, you know, he makes men level-headed decisions, common sense, right decisions. This guy's an extremist. That guy's a chip on his shoulder. This one wants to kill everybody. This one has a list of people he has to make amends with. I mean, now the Winter Soldier. Did you did you find his character, or he was just kind of like a throw-in? Because well, I think at the beginning it was kind of it, it. It felt a little trying too hard, but then he kind of found his his footing in his relationship with Sam, in particular episode five, where people might say, oh, it was kind of boring. I thought the whole buddy cop, you know, you know, whole thing where they're playing, where they're playing Frisbee with the, with the... The shield. With the shield was freaking awesome. That, you know, that camaraderie they had that, I'm not saying they're going to be best friends, but right now they're the closest to... No, right now they are best friends. You know, the closest they, to, uh, you know. They act like best friends, which they kick each other's ass. They hate each other's guts. But but they, they've they learned to, to have each other's back. Yeah, they, well, they, they're, they're on the same side. You know, no matter what each one is doing, you know you could count on the other one to come to your rescue, no matter what, anytime, any place. All right. Now, let's go to Carly Morgenthau. What did you think of her? That in, and the flag smack. It was a very under... Um, very superficial character wasn't uh, fleshed out. I, I think she was so one-dimensional. I think there could have been more to it. Um, I think she annoyed me at towards the end, especially. I'm like, I'm like, and I think the fact that this is uh, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take flack for this too. I think the fact, not the fact that she was that 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 there was, you know, was reverse gender, which I think that's fine. But I think the fact that she was, you know, like more like a more on what was she early 20s or teenage girl I mean I, I mean I don't even though she's a super soldier it's still you know I can't it still bothers me that she's beating freaking she's beating up the winter soldier who was an assassin who killed hundreds of people in his lifetime and beat Captain America's ass had him had him dead to rights no 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 I, no he she beat a juiced up jacked up, angry, death wish ridden uh, US agent. Yes. Who who has been trained from day one without the serum without the serum. He is probably the the, the biggest he probably is the the shiny example of a perfect soldier. What something that Steve Rogers wasn't. Because don't let's not forget back back in the day, Steve Rogers was, was a puny little, you know, puny little. That's a fragile thing. Yeah. But but he's supposed now the serum is supposed to augment who you are, right? Yeah, but he's he's fighting angry, and it wasn't really when he got himself under control, he was a lot better. And I think that at the end, speaking of U.S. agent, I kind of dug, you know, 
his suit looked badass in black, by the way. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that they kept him around and... Who yeah. kept him around? Valentina. Jeez, I can't remember his name. Valentina's fine. And, and what I'm uh, trying to struggle is to where these pieces play in. Well, if you know, let me start to cut you off. If you know, Valentina is, becomes, she's Madame Hydra. She is also, she is a, actually a triple agent. She is. Yes. You know, for she, well, thing, she Hydra and for another. She's kind of like Nick Fury's antagonist. Uh, actually, yeah, Nick Fury's love interest in the comics, again. I'm, I'm going to bring up the comics a lot, guys. So if you guys, if you're, if you're annoyed, just get, get ready to be annoyed. Well, that's why there's a lot of setup here. You can see where things are going. Uh, what's his face is in the raft, um, Baron Zemo, and he's going to get his Thunderbolts together. Um, the super soldiers were assassinated by his, uh, I don't know what you want to call him, butler. Um, what I didn't like, to be honest, is a lot of this episode. Yes, his, his Alfred, Baron Alfred. His, this was a little too neat for me. Yeah, well, it was a nice little bow. It had to be tightened up a nice little bow. Yeah, I don't like it. That's the one thing I did like with WandaVision. The ending was so open-ended and had you kind of on your edge of your seat, like, is she going to go nuts? Is she just going to get better? Is she now, she was broken before, is Wanda now off the deep end with, like, Phoenix-type power? Here, everything was just... And be answered in our WandaVision episode. <laughs> nice plug. So, all in all, I got to say, I was very satisfied. Um, Last but not least, what about the, the, the end credit scene? When... Um, the power broker. Uh, uh, yes. Sharon Carter is introduced as the power broker, and she is finally pardoned. She's... She's conniving beyond beyond what you think. She wears a very nice face. Forget about Hydra now. Forget about um, the shield. I mean, there's so many forces here. What, what, this is what I have, not an issue with, but this is where it gets a little, trying to find its place. We had Marvel now expand the universe 20 million fold, right? It used to be just Earth. Yeah, well, now, now, now you get ready. Now Marvel is saying, you know, you guys, we showed, we brought, we, we kind of dragged you, hold your hand up to Thanos, and now the training wheels are off. You better jump on and pay attention. If not, you're going to get left behind. That's it. Because, but this is, is basically Earthbound only. Yes. And... Yes, there are divisions with different countries. It's but not is it Earthbound only? Yeah, but my only issue so far is that is that interesting for me now that you brought in Galaxy of the Guardians, other universes, different alien races, shapeshifters, um, uh, the I'm, loose. I'm gonna ask you one thing that's gonna probably blow your mind, you know, or it might not, but it'll also nullify your point at, at this moment. There's a theory going around. That the Sharon Carter, you would say, "Wow, why, why would such a decorated the niece of, Perry, of Peggy Carter would go?" And also, who in the comics is is an, a hero and that and that for a while was the girlfriend of Captain America, and she, and all this other stuff, you know. And now she goes, she turned bad just because she was, you know, on the run and the blip happened and everything else. What if? It's not Sharon Carter. Ah. What if? And it's a shapeshifter in form. The scroll. Dun, dun, dun. Now that you brought her up, though. Um, and look, I, I don't know. I, I don't any, I'm not privy to any information. This is just one of those theories. No, that's an interesting theory, but now that you brought her name, it jarred one other pet peeve I had in this episode is towards the ending when she reveals herself to be the power broker to Carly and she takes the gun out and then she, she has backup and she has the other dude there. That's rock. I found that ridiculous. 
She thinks like a chess player, three moves ahead. She's got all the rope, man. And she's dealing with a super soldier that no one could take down. The Avengers couldn't take down. All the super soldiers. The so nobody could take her down. She comes in with a Glock. You cannot run a bullet. Yeah, but super soldiers can heal faster too. Mm-hmm. That didn't make sense. I'm sorry. That whole scene made no freaking sense. Yeah, well, look, she, it, it, it wasn't was perfect. With a gun. I mean, look. With super reflexes and a super soldier strength, yeah. Right. The problem is they painted themselves into a corner, the writers, and they knew that Carly had to die so that the whole thing, it would give Sam, Captain America, a basis for his speech, and then he could just he could go and speak from the heart and, you know, say what he had to say. It, if he survived, but, then it would have, it, 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 you know... It, it would have been, you know. Yeah, but the whole scene nullifies the power broker as a badass person to deal with. That was such the wrong move. If you're such a badass power broker, you bring more heat than that, or you have other people do your bidding. Well, she did, except he you flipped on her. With the gun. He flipped on her. George St. Pierre, Batrock. Again. She's such a cunning, conniving person. You didn't see that coming? Mm-hmm. I mean... You yeah. know, oh, oh, you, you are the power broker. Oh, shit, dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the power, who said the power broker is freaking is Wolverine or something? The, you know, the power broker is powerful because they have connections and they know what's going on and they have at their hands and everything. But yeah, the power broker has no powers. The power broker doesn't, does, they can't foretell the future. I mean, come on, well, man. That's a master of manipulation. You know, wake up, Charlie Brown. Don't you say right then and there, oh, you want 10 times? You got it, 10 times. Deposit in your bank right now. Kill this bitch. Hey. Shoot the muscle you brought in with and then take on Carly one on one with you and the gun. Eh, writers, writers, writers. No, look, I mean, hey, that was a it wasn't it wasn't perfect. I think that that I give it overall. The overall, the writing was very good. America stars. I think I think you know that they kind of, they, they they dropped the ball. You're right. There were a couple of things, but in particular that one I did not like. I didn't like the fact they made Sharon Carter the power broker, but now with this theory, I'm kind of accepting it a little more. And, you know, for all you don't know, there is a Captain America 4 coming out with the same writers from The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and it will most assuredly star Captain America, Sam. U- U.S. agent. I found another problem with him. He went off the rails and went full psycho death wish on awesome that was awesome i'm sorry you don't come back from that you don't know that he's a super soldier he's super soldier but he's whooped in the head you don't maybe you don't maybe maybe he healed maybe he healed his brain healed look what happened he's a decorated soldier he maybe his brain healed whatever friend died he went berserk on social media and he acted beyond um we can debate this all you want, beyond uh, due justice and uh, equal force. You don't come back from that, and now you see your, the killer of your best friend within arm's length. I'm sorry. The scene where it's either the tr- saving the truck full of citizens or of people or kill Carly, his character is already molded. He doesn't even blink. He goes straight for Carly. This didn't make any sense. What are you oh, talking about? He went straight for the he he straight for the car and he to save the people. That made no sense in his character. No, he's dead. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense because he is a, he is about, about about saving lives. He's the first thing he did. he's about revenge. He's about avenging. No, he's not. No, yeah. erroneous. No, he's not. He Wait. was that in that moment. Why would he execute the other dude? He killed him in front of everybody. Because he flipped out in that moment, but it's not, it's not that's not his is. character. No, it's not. He's never done that before. It's but he did. Character. But he, he did, did at that moment, yes, because the serum accentuated 
his feelings of what he wanted to do. It, did he still have the serum? Yeah, but he... Did he not see, he did not see the scene with the parents? What's with the parents? Battle store's parents. And he said, Oh, yeah, yeah. The killer. And he looked deep into his soul, knowing that he did not kill the killer. That he looked into the parents of his best friend's eyes and lied to them. If you do all this to make him eventually, to, to all of a sudden grow a conscience? I, 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 he always had a conscience, man. See, I, 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 I think, you're looking, think you're looking too far into it. I think you're looking for, and another thing, let's let's be honest. The writers also had to freaking bring him back to a degree because the dude was a pretty revolved character. No one really liked him. At first, he was mocked, and then they didn't like him, and then to the point where the actor actually got death threats. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that swayed the, the, the writer's decisions to whatever, because obviously this was done way, way, way in advance. But I think the plan was to bring him back to a degree in good graces. You know? And Capri Cyber, did you know that, the, the, that, did you know that that's Kurt Russell and, and, and Goldie Hassan? Did you know that? No, I didn't know. Yeah. Um, no. Good, yeah. good show. Good show. Uh, I had no idea until until I like oh Kurt Russell son and I'm like, duh, oh shit. Well, I gotta say, um, I, I just I wholeheartedly disagree. I think they should have maintained his character to be under control by uh, Valentina, but a bit of a psycho. No, but he has a psycho side now. But he always he always does the right fucking thing, and that and 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 that is what is going to. Because I, you'd even notice at the end when he came out with the U.S. agent outfit, he has a gun, he has a holster on his side that he will do anything that needs to be done. All right, break it down. What'd you think? Let's give it. Let's give it out of five. How many, many shields out of five? Three and a half shields. Three and a half. He said. Three and a half. For I had to mention too many things that I had issue, issues with. I give it. I give it four shields. And um, you know, my issues are more comic based, and I, I, I gotta get over that myself. So, uh, well, my main issues are are storyline based. And um, no, I mean, look, all in all, don't and don't forget, I'm not. They had a plan. They needed to get Sam as Captain America and have him established out there and they had to also end the Isaiah Bradley storyline the correct way. No, that was magnificently done. That that actually was now that took precedent over the bungle, because I agree with you, the bungle of the Cardi Morgenthau death slash power broker slash batrock little, you know, menage a trois. And in your opinion, the you the US agent faux pas. You know, I think that to, that superseded and it was done, like you said, magnificently, you know, well put. And yeah, I mean, it was, you know, it's good shit. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems a little sad that it's titled Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but I believe Winter Soldier's uh, story is, fades really far back in the backdrop. No, he was integral, but yeah, it was like a clear one and a one A, as opposed to it being or, or like one and two instead of instead of yeah, instead of it being fifty fifty, it was more sixty forty or seventy thirty. You know? Ninety ten. Nah. Eighty twenty. But I am interested to see, but it did leave me wanting. I want to see a how it progresses for Captain America. And what's next for Bucky? What's next for Bucky, Captain America, Baron Zemo, Power Broker, and U.S. Agent? Well, obviously, you know, now let's get, let's get to it as, as, as we're finishing up here. Obviously, Captain America 4, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Power Broker against Captain America, which is going to need the, the assistance of Bucky. So Bucky's going to be doing something, trying to fix himself back, you know, since he already gave, 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 uh, gave the book back to uh, the therapist. And, yeah, you know. 
Well, then that's also an opportunity to bring out some more, I want to say domestic superheroes as opposed to intergalactic, but um, they could revisit a few people or introduce some new characters. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, there's enough characters within the Captain America universe that were never used. I would love to see them use the Stepper Society. I'd love to see Scourge. I would love to see, you know, even someone like Nomad. I'd love to see other, you know, Diamondback, people like that. I mean, of course, they're little, you know, I'm not sure if people would get it or they would really accept it, but cause it's a little, some of them are a little wacky, you know, the porcupine, that, that, that dude was awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all in all, guys, we enjoyed it and we keep we're looking forward to Loki when it comes out and stay tuned for our Invincible season finale i do believe we're gonna try to do that live when it comes out and then no um not hedging any bets i'm not uh i'm not foreshadowing i'm not going to reveal anything but so far it's been a ridiculously awesome ride invincible okay all right tangent man say good night adios amigos and save the whales thank you everybody yeah Take care of yourselves. Please like, comment, subscribe, and take care. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Thank you, friends. <laughs>